Denial. Denial. We just did a video a couple of hours ago about all the black mass shootings in this country. And how the New York Times says three quarters of the mass shooters in America are black. This makes the minds explode of lots of black people and their liberal enablers in the press and in public office. Because every time something like this Sean King hoax happens, thousands of people will take to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and their local news sites to say, okay, that was a hoax, but what about all the white people who are mass shooters and going around killing a bunch of people all at once? What about that? Uh huh. huh. But when you break the bad news to them that, you know, three quarters of the black shooters in America are black, they just do, do not believe it. They simply refuse to believe it. So today, I said, okay, listen, this is going to take me a grand total of about 15 minutes to find these, but I'm going to find just the shooters, the mass shootings that my readers and viewers have sent me over the last two or three weeks. I don't even know how many there are. Let's see how many there are. So I did it. There were 13, 13 mass shootings. That seems like a lot to me. That's almost one a day. Uh, but you know, the old saying is if you want to learn, if you want to learn, really learn about something, write a book. I always interpreted that saying to mean be the, all the learning comes after the book is written. And then you start really learning from people who read the book who say, Hey, what about this? What about that? Well, that's what happened with this video. As soon as I put that out, I said, listen, I know there's, I just thought there was a whole bunch more out there. Sure enough. Within 10 minutes of me posting that video on Twitter, we got nine more episodes of black mass shooters recently. Philadelphia, St. Louis, Oakland, Houston. People kept saying, Colin, did you see this? Did you see that? You see it? No, I didn't see any of it. And we haven't really even started looking yet. So we have 22 examples of black mass shooting in the last couple of weeks. And still, black people and their enablers look at us and lie their ass off and say, oh, no, there's no such thing as black shooters in this country, Colin. It's all white people going around shooting people. I even got kicked off of Twitter for doing this. At one point, somebody said, okay, Colin, yeah, it's all, it's all white people. I said, okay, here, here's what we'll do. I'll start posting black shooters here. You start, and after for every black person I post as a mass shooter, you post a white person. Let's see who runs out first. I literally got kicked off of Twitter for 12 hours. Twitter said I was invo involved in hate speech. It's got to, that's got to be a first. The first time somebody quoting the New York Times and then getting kicked off because of hate speech. Anyway, let's get to these, let's get to these other videos because again, they don't doc, they're not, we're not just documenting this ridiculous level of, of black violence in this country. These, these highlight the denial, deceit, and delusion that makes takes this violence from one level of danger and puts it right into the stratosphere. Just in, the NYPD is investigating an early morning shooting in the Richmond Hill section of Queens. Police say it all started with an argument outside Rose Lounge on 130th Street. That's when shots rang out, hitting several people. Five people were taken to local hospitals. All are expected to be okay. Other violent crimes have hit this area of Northeast Columbia before. Miranda Parnell is at the scene of this morning shooting with concern from those who live or work in that area. Miranda? Well, you know, people we spoke with weren't shocked to find out what happened today when we let them know about that shooting. They say that crime and shootings like this are commonplace in these nightclubs and lounges. And now city leaders are saying they're ready to change that. I'm disgusted and frankly afraid. Less than six and a half hours into 2019, and five people had already been shot in Columbia at Faces Lounge on Decker Boulevard. Community leaders are fed up. We have got to have stronger laws and ordinances to give the sheriff, Sheriff Lott, the ability to shut these clubs down. This goes past irresponsible business owner into really just a danger to society. Mikasita, Bananas, and Now Faces are all locations on the same road that the sheriff's office says play host to violent crime. 
In May, Mikasita was slapped with a stop work order after the sheriff said they were operating as an illegal strip club. We have got to shut these clubs down. This is blood money, pure and simple. Uh, they're making so much money off of this illegal activity, and the sheriff can't shut them down fast enough. With homes, apartments, and two schools just miles away from these violent crimes, this community says something's got to give before even more people are hurt. We have got to have accountability. We have got to do something. We cannot stand here any longer and talk about it. We need for all of our officials that have responsibility, whether it's the legislature, whether it's county council, um, whoever our elected officials are, have got to do something this year. We can no longer stand by and watch this happen. And just to further express the climate out here in this area, several people we spoke with didn't want to go on camera about their sentiments because they say, and I quote, they feared they would be shot next. Homicide detectives are also investigating a quadruple shooting inside a Philadelphia barber shop last night. This happened at Jay's Shear Magic Barbershop in the 4500 block of Broad Street in Logan. Investigators say a masked gunman walked into the shop and fired more than two dozen shots. Two of the victims are in critical condition. No arrests have been made. When I seen the video, I was, I was really shocked. It was early morning and the place was packed. Innocent bystanders, just people just there getting something to eat. Here at Hanini Gas Station on Woodland Avenue at East 55th Street in Cleveland. It was an argument at first. These men seen here exchanging words last Saturday around 3 a.m. when the man in the ball cap suddenly pulls out a gun and shoots the other two men. The security guard, armed security guard, was there and when it went off he just ran. He ran. And it wasn't over yet. The suspect returns with an even bigger weapon and continues firing at the two men as terrified customers run for their lives. Among them is a 36-year-old woman caught in the gunfire and dragged to safety by the others in line. And an innocent lady got shot in her knees. And it had nothing to do with just trying to get some food. Rick Graham blogs about Cleveland crime on various Facebook pages and got this video from an anonymous sender. He couldn't believe what happened next. To see everybody walk past this person and just look, it, it was like, oh, everybody was just walking past them. The three victims survived and were rushed to Metro Health Medical Center, where Cleveland police determined that one of the men injured was 24-year-old Richard Pinson, with a warrant for his arrest for aggravated robbery and murder. However, they are still looking for this brazen shooter. Rick just hopes they find him soon. It really just, it made me sad. Anything can happen just like that. Hey, why not finish up with a triple homicide in West Oakland? Just a couple days after the first of the year. Oh yeah, that's 2019. Please, sir. I want some more. You guys ever heard of that, the, the thing called Shot Spotter? You put these high acoustic microphones in high crime neighborhoods, black neighborhoods. So when somebody fires a gun, these microphones collect the acoustic signature and they can pretty much tell where the gunshot came from. Well, they tried it out in, I think it was uh, Oakland or Richmond, which is two, basically the same place, California. And what they found was 90% of the shootings in that town went unreported. We were getting all these shootings that had no idea even occurred. And that's what's happening with these mass shootings. Nobody's connecting the dots. Everybody's refusing the dots even exist. But it's pretty hard to deny, you know, something when three people get shot, four people get killed, seven people get shot, eight people get shot at a party, and they're all fellas. And the white people just keep not showing up in these stories. I mean, nobody wants to connect the dots on that, and you know why, because connecting the dots and sketching out the truth of the nature of mass shooters in this country is guaranteed to make the black kids angry. Denial, Denial. 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 Denial.